All right, welcome back. So we're looking at quantum names. So our Rigetti, so this is the this is the one we have covered many, many times. It looks like last time I talked about the hard to borrow and also IV crush January 23rd, January 31. So, and this is exactly what has happened in the last, whatever this, how so many sessions. So we haven't looked at it since right there. And there's a reason why. It has been doing absolutely nothing. So I was watching um, Ion Q, which I did uh, put some um, some bets on this one, but again, this is very cheap, and I don't think that it's gonna happen. But I did throw like what two hundred dollars. I shared it in Discord, so like puts for next week. But it looks like they report twenty six, and the biggest event everybody probably waiting for is this event. So Nvidia. Uh, quantum day conference session which is going to happen Thursday March 20th from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. and the speakers I just looked up Ion Q is going to present Peter Chapman the CEO president and then Rigetti CEO is going to uh, talk as well so the quantum computing where we are and where we are headed so that's the title of that uh, conference scheduled so up until then, yeah, they have to report uh, report earnings, and we'll see. Uh, but looks like accelerating quantum computing. Is there anybody else who's going to talk? Looks like it's going to the accelerating quantum computing. So there's a little bit more actually. Monday, March 27th. Okay, so looks like it starts March 17th. Looks like, right? So yeah, you gotta you, you can take a look at the schedules and stuff. But I'm seeing that it's going to start actually early. So there's actually other days they're discussing other stuff quantum computing meets ai journey to with qd ai march 19th so yeah you can go to on nvidia's um, basically website and take a look at that one but in this video i'm going to just basically talk about uh, what i'm watching for the stock so i was talking about iv crush that's what you have seen anybody who has traded uh Rigetti or ion key or anything in the past two weeks i haven't talked about so it looks like january 31st I talked about this one. Did I talk about Ion Q? Maybe I talked about Ion Q. Uh, January 25th, yeah. So I haven't talked about these ones actually in a while. So it's been almost a month now. So you can see it did pretty much have been killing premium as well. So next week, pretty short week and option expiration. So after that, uh, they report uh, earnings. Uh, what about Rigetti, RGTI? Well, I don't know about their earnings reports. Uh, looks like it is not until March 13th. But a lot of people's like hope is going into that event. These stocks are going to pump. Well, I'm watching a few things. Well, if you are bullish, well, you want the stock to at least stay above 50-day moving average. So in Rigetti's case, yes, for the last four trading session, this level is acting as a support. But... If it cracks this level, you gotta be super careful. And you can see even my alerts, because I'm ready. So if this if this stock flushes down, especially after OPEX, I will be uh, definitely going with a little bit bigger put size. Uh, and I'm gonna be watching it to the downside. The only time I would be interested to the upside, maybe if it gets going above $15. So I'm gonna put the alert over there. And if you take a look at the option activity, there's not much going on. Uh, uh, 54,000 calls traded, 37,000 puts traded on Friday. But let's take a look at the short data because this stock is heavily shorted. So if we go, maybe we can take a look at the Ion Q as well since we are on it. RGTI, short volume. It's pretty heavily shorted uh, pretty much for the last, I want to say two weeks. Uh, since February and actually even more okay just say that it's been pretty much for the most part all the time has been uh, shorted uh, higher volume every single day uh, versus long volume again this this data is not an accurate data it's missing some of the exchanges that's why the volume is not incomplete uh, is not complete but I use it I like it uh, it works for me okay so in terms of uh, borrowing hard to borrow it was hard to borrow uh, last time we looked at it, but looks like no, they had uh, pretty much 
fine volume to borrow if anybody wished to short this name. Uh, what about the float over the short? So let's take a look at that number as well. Again, this could be like one month old data, but still 26% of the flow, uh, flow is short market cap $2.8 billion for Rigetti. So those are the levels I'm watching to the upside 15. I would want to see the stock above 15 for it to maybe to push towards 1750. That's the gap fill area. But I'm again biased because I bought a put for ion Q, which I thought maybe it's going to flush down because it did slip below uh 50 day moving average that's the only reason below all of its major moving averages and i thought maybe maybe next week or um, in the next coming days uh it's gonna have some sort of a headline or maybe some sort of a flush down it doesn't have to go to those levels that i bought uh, as long as implied volatility increases i might be able to turn a couple hundred dollars into a couple thousand dollars but again it has to drop for me but so i'm biased on this one that i think that it's gonna drop uh at some point but the risky events are going to be that uh eight billion dollars this is the market capitalization capitalization of the ion q and um Earnings, maybe after earnings, I'll see. But up until then, if it chops, no problem because stocks tend to do that. Between option expiration and option expiration, it won't do much uh, and kill premium. But after February 21st, um, I would be keeping an eye on option activity on this name, what people are doing. Because volume on IonQ was 31,000 calls, 15,000 puts. That's not a lot, actually. That's not a crazy volume. But I can take a look at uh, positioning on here. Maybe first, Rigetti. What's the total call open interest and what's the total put open interest? So there's not much uh, standing out in general. So if you take a look at the total open interest for the calls, 463,000 and for the puts, 360 something thousand, 364,000. So 100,000 more calls in terms of open interest and again those could be have could have been sold uh, i want to look at ion q ion q just to have an idea what's going on with the option activity but first yeah there are some shares available to borrow short float yeah it's being shorted heavily as well uh in terms of the option total open interest it has significantly less actually but 222,000 call up call open interest and 177,000 put open interest so it doesn't tell me that if uh, people are bullish or bearish so essentially what it's telling me that uh, more people could have sold outside of the money calls short term February 14th and then February uh, 21st looks like the max pain is $40 so but there are a lot of uh, more in the money puts for those two expirations expiration of um february 14th which is expired already but for february 21st looks like there's 10,000 open interest so 10,000 more uh in the money puts for the stock so that's what i'm watching so i'm biased for these names uh i don't know what they're gonna do but so far yeah they're still holding up but again at some point these will start cracking and they can start going lower uh, that's what I'm watching. This is not a recommendation for you to buy or sell. Uh, I'm just a random guy on YouTube and you can end up losing pretty much 100% of your money listening to uh, YouTubers like me. So thanks for watching. See you in the next one.